The Japanese tea ceremony, known as chado or sado, meaning the way of tea, is an ancient and cherished tradition deeply rooted in Japanese culture, spirituality, and aesthetics. With a rich history dating back to the 9th century, this timeless art form continues to captivate both locals and visitors alike. In this video, we will delve into the captivating history of the tea ceremony, its significance, the essential tools required, and the intricate steps involved in performing this beautiful ritual. History. The history of the Japanese tea ceremony can be traced back to the 9th century when Buddhist monks returning from China introduced tea to Japan. Influenced by Zen Buddhism, the tea ceremony evolved over time, combining various elements of Japanese culture, spirituality and aesthetics. The practice was initially reserved for the elite and the imperial court, but it eventually spread to other social classes, becoming an integral part of Japanese society. Tea Ceremony Tools To perform a tea ceremony, one requires several essential tools, each serving a specific purpose and holding unique significance in the ceremony. These tools include Chawan, tea bowl, a ceramic bowl used to serve tea. Chawan comes in various shapes, sizes and designs, depending on the season and type of tea being served. Chasen, bamboo whisk. A whisk made from bamboo, used to mix the matcha, green tea powder, with hot water, creating a frothy consistency. Chashaku, bamboo scoop. A slender bamboo scoop used to measure and transfer the matcha into the chawan. Fukusa, silk cloth. A small silk cloth used by the host to ritually clean the chashaku and other tea utensils. Mizusashi, cold water container. A lidded container that holds cold water used for rinsing the chawan and replenishing the kettle. Kama, kettle. A kettle for heating water, typically made of iron or ceramic. Hishaku, bamboo ladle. A long-handled ladle used to transfer hot water from the kettle to the chawan. Preparation. The preparation process for a tea ceremony is a crucial aspect showcasing the host's respect and hospitality towards their guests. The host meticulously cleans the tea room, ensuring it is free from dust and clutter. The utensils are also carefully cleaned and arranged in a specific order. The tea setting, including the calligraphic scroll and seasonal flower arrangement, is prepared to reflect the season, occasion and theme of the ceremony. Entering the tea room, guests enter the tea room one by one, admiring the carefully curated environment, which includes the calligraphic scroll, flower arrangement and tea setting. These elements are intended to evoke a sense of tranquility and harmony, encouraging guests to leave their worldly concerns behind and immerse themselves in the ceremony. After admiring the room, guests take their seats, following a specific seating arrangement based on their importance, with the most important guest seated farthest from the entrance, serving the tea. The host begins the ceremony by preparing the tea in the presence of the guests. They use the chashaku to add matcha to the chawan, then pour hot water into the bowl. Using the chasen, the host whisks the mixture until it reaches a smooth, frothy consistency. The host's graceful movements and techniques are an essential part of the tea ceremony, demonstrating their skill and dedication to the art. Drinking the tea. When it's time to drink the tea, guests follow a specific etiquette. They receive the chawan with a bow, rotate it clockwise to avoid sipping from the front, and take a sip. The tea is typically consumed in three to four sips, with the last sip accompanied by a gentle slurping sound to express appreciation for the tea. After sipping, they wipe the rim of the chawan with their fingers or a small cloth and pass the bowl to the next guest. This process fosters a sense of unity and harmony among the participants as they share the same bowl of tea. Ending the ceremony. As the ceremony concludes, the host cleans the tea tools in the presence of the guests. They use the fukusa to ritually purify the chashaku, followed by wiping the chawan with a clean cloth. Guests may then ask questions about the ceremony, the tools used, or any other aspects of the experience. This exchange allows for a deeper understanding of the art and an opportunity to appreciate the host's expertise. Finally, the host and guests exchange bows as a sign of mutual respect, bringing the ceremony to a close. 
Conclusion. The Japanese tea ceremony is a profound and mesmerizing experience, embodying the principles of harmony, respect, purity, and tranquility. This ancient art form transcends the simple act of serving and drinking tea, elevating it into a meditative and spiritual practice that connects the participants to the present moment and to one another. Whether you are a guest or a host, the tea ceremony offers a unique opportunity to appreciate the beauty of Japan.